Hey YouTube, ready to see what's in this box? Well, I can tell you it's gonna go from these boxes to this tank. Stay tuned. All right, YouTube, it's Brian coming at you today with uh, another segment of the uh, 125 gallon reef build uh, we've got in our rocks so I wanted to just do a quick unboxing and show you what I got and then we're gonna probably cut to either me preparing them for aquascape or the final aquascape depending on how ambitious I get with filming so I'm just gonna cut open into this top box here and uh, show you if you can't already tell these are from a purple reef.com um, so these are gonna be the, I guess you'd say manufactured rock, and they are already colored purple. And, and they have some other types of color in, in there. They also are already seeded with bacteria, I guess is the easiest thing to say. So without saying, or without uh, further ado, they're gonna have to go into the tank. Good packaging it looks like here. Um, from what I can tell, I'm going to set this knife down so I don't keep holding it. They're all had a nice bag around them because they are damp. I'm going to take out a small piece here. I'm just going to show you probably one. Ooh, this is sweet. Look at that coloration, man. You know, when I was uh, footing the bill for this, I was like, I can't believe I'm paying this much for rock, but now just seeing this little piece, it's worth every penny. Honestly, it is. Um, I got enough, I got 160 pounds, so that'll be enough for the 125 gallon, plus what I'm gonna do is redo the rockscape in my little 29 bio cube here with this stuff. So, really looking forward to this. Um, Uh, Chris, uh, Chris there, I think really worked well with me. Um, I told him I needed some bigger base pieces, and I can see right now this is one. Said I was only going to unwrap one, but I'm getting kind of excited here, so let's do one more. Look at that. That is cool. Really happy, really happy with that. So, anyway, um... But that's as far as I'll do as far as the unboxing goes. But uh, again, apurplereef.com is where I got this stuff, this stuff from. They also sell sand. I went with a different uh, brand for my sand, but they make great sand too from what I understand. So um, what will come next in this video is either shots of me preparing the rock, chiseling it, um, putting it together. Or if I don't film when I do all that, um, it'll be the final aquascape. So what I did next is I enlisted the help of one of my buddies, Carl. He came over and we decided to drill and uh, attach the rock structures together with um, rods. What I used was um, actually acrylic curtain rods that I picked up at Home Depot or Lowe's, I forget. These are just some pictures and video of us um, uh, putting them together and drilling and stuff outside um, Took us a good part of a day to do this uh, We ended up making two rock structures, which you'll see at the end of this video But uh, it ended up uh, raining after a good part of the day, so we did have to move inside But uh, we did get everything put together and drilled uh, This is kind of putting the final structure together right here once it uh, started raining then I moved downstairs and uh, got the sand ready. Um, as you can see, I got two boxes here of Tropic Eden uh, sand. I went with the Tonga Reef Flakes and the Tonga Mini Reef Flakes, two bags of each, two 30-pound bags. So we got 60 pounds of each, totaling 120 pounds. Um, I decided to go with this over the uh, sand that Purple Reef sells just because that sand is really fine and I didn't want to worry about um, dealing with it uh, moving around in the tank uh, from the flow. So this is going to work out real well. This is what I used on my BioCube and I've been very happy with it. 
And what you see here is what happens when you decide to um, add sand to a tank that has water in it. Um, I had drained the tank down to about 6 to 10 inches uh, when I was working with the rock and I forgot to drain it the rest of the way, started putting in the sand and then filled it up and it looks like milk. But after a day or so, uh, the water cleared up and you're looking at uh, the final scape on this tank. Um, I went with one larger structure over to the right kind of use the rule of thirds like you use uh, for uh, aquascaping planted tanks. Um, at first look, th both of these structures seem like they're going to be kind of small, but you have to remember that there's going to be corals on them and they're going to end up looking quite a bit bigger. I did want to make sure too that there was some ledging and that there was a lot of empty space in the middle for fish to swim. Um, but anyway, these rocks are all um, drilled and uh, attached via the rods I talked about earlier. Um, the structures actually go down to the glass. I put them in before I put the sand in. Um, I like this nice ledge area over here. I like the way the sloping is. And then the smaller structure, I've got a nice ledge here and then another nice ledge there. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what I can do with corals on here. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm really digging the look of the purple reef rock here as well. So that's about it for this episode. Um, thanks for watching as always. If you're new to this channel or new to this series, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Um, I do regular updates on all my types of fish tanks. Um, I've got uh, obviously my Coral Life BioCube, this new 125 gallon reef tank, and then tons of freshwater stuff, including all my cichlids and shrimp. So make sure you subscribe so that you can um, see all those updates. Until next time, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video of this reef build.